All right, here we go. A few more examples of quotient rule. Well, maybe quotient rule. We'll see. Actually, yeah, quotient rule. Um, all right, so just more practice. We have a function g of x equal to x squared divided by natural log x. So as always, we want to just make sure we know what the main operation is. So we do see a fraction here. And when we do look at this, we have, there's a variable term on top. And there's a variable term on the bottom here. So that tells us we actually do need to use quotient rule. We have a variable on the top, we have a variable on the bottom, and we're dividing. All right, so let's actually implement quotient rule. So we're going to calculate g prime of x. How do we do it? Well, however you want to memorize the formula. Um, but let's write this quotient as a product. So we'll do x squared times natural log x, x squared times natural log x, so top times bottom. And then we just do two copies of that, so top times bottom. In the first copy, we apply the derivative to just the first part. And in the second copy, we apply the derivative to just that second part. Put a minus in between. And then we divide by the original denominator, which was natural log x and we square it. So that's our quotient rule, right here. All right, so we have the hard part done. Now we just need to finish differentiating. So derivative of x squared is 2x. The natural log here is outside the brackets, so we're done with that, that just stays the same. Then we have minus and x squared. The x squared is outside the bracket, so that just stays the same. And then we need to know what this derivative of natural log x is. So again, this is one of our elementary forms that we should have memorized. In case we don't have it memorized yet, we can quickly look it up and we see derivative of natural log x is 1 over x. But we should get that one memorized. And all divided by natural log x squared. And there we go. We have our derivative. Maybe the only thing we do is simplify this out. So we have an x squared here times a 1 over x. Maybe we, we simplify that. So the x squared, when we multiply with the 1 over x, this is just going to simplify to just a single x term. So if we wanted to, won't write it all out, but this ends up being, this little piece right here ends up being equal to just an x. All right, so that's quotient rule. Try another one. Just for the practice here, we have this function v of t. It's equal to the exponential function e raised to the power t divided by 1 plus t squared. Again, when we look at this thing, what do we see? We have a fraction. Yeah. We have a fraction, and then there's a variable term on the top. There's a variable term on the bottom. Let's use a different color. So there's a variable up here, and there's a variable down here. So t is our variable this time. But we see a t up here, and we see some t's down here. So that tells us when we have t terms on the top, and we're dividing, and we have t terms in the bottom, we actually need to use quotient rule. Or it's OK to use quotient rule. So let's actually apply it. So we're going to calculate v prime, our derivative. And let's just implement the quotient rule. So we're going to write this quotient as a product. So top function times the bottom function. And then we do two copies of that. So top function times the bottom function. And we apply the derivative to the, in the first copy, we apply the derivative to just the first part. And in the second copy, we apply the derivative to just the second part. And then we put a minus sign in between. And this is all over our original denominator squared. So one plus t squared, squared. And then we just keep going. 
So there's we still have to differentiate these terms that are in the brackets, but now these are going to be easier. So derivative of the exponential function, well, that one's nice. It's its own derivative. So derivative of the exponential function is the exponential function, e raised to the power t. And then the 1 plus t squared here, it's outside the brackets, so we're done with it. And then we have subtraction. The e raised to the power t is also outside the brackets, so we're done with that. And then the derivative of 1 plus t squared, derivative of 1 is 0. Derivative of t squared is 2t. And this is all over 1 plus t squared squared. And so notice, don't do any work here with the denominator. Just leave it as 1 plus t squared squared. If you really wanted to, you could multiply this out. But actually, that makes it more complicated. So just leave it like that. Don't, don't do anything to it. Um, and there we go. We have our derivative. We're done differentiating. Perfectly good answer right there. Um, now, sometimes it's helpful to try to simplify this. And for this one, all most of the simplification is going to come in the numerator. So this is where we do most of our work when we try to actually simplify these fractions down. And what we could do is we could actually factor out an e raised to the power t here. So there's an exponential here, there's an exponential here. Let's factor out an exponential. So we'll have an e raised to the power t. And then what are, what are the leftovers going to be? Well, we're going to have a 1 plus t squared here, and then we're going to have a minus 2t here. So we're going to end up with 1 minus 2t plus t squared all over 1 plus t squared squared. So if we wanted to simplify, we could. Maybe there's maybe there's a little more here we could do, um, but this is fine. So again, very tempting. And you see a one plus t squared here and a one plus t squared squared. Very tempting to want to cancel these, but it doesn't cancel because this second piece over here doesn't have a one plus t squared in it. So um, just just be careful. Don't don't try to cancel anything here. Sometimes you can, but for things like this, it doesn't work out that way. All right, so just, just a little more practice calculating these derivatives. Um, in the next video, we're going to see a couple instances where quotient rule does work, but maybe it's not absolutely necessary. So we'll see you there.